Hello and welcome to our Indicator Spotlight. Once a month we feature an indicator from our NinjaTrader 8 library. It's a short video between 5 and 10 minutes with a brief explanation of the main concept, the most important functions and how you can use it uh, in a trading setup. And uh, of course you get a download link as well. And uh, I will tell you towards the end of the video how to get that. All right, so in this month's uh, spotlight, we're talking about uh, the relative volume and uh, how you can use it uh, to address the changes in volume between the different uh, sessions. And uh, as you can see here, there is a big uh, difference between uh, the overnight session and the European session here. This is uh, a crude oil chart. And you also see a difference between the European session and the US regular session. And um, so if you're trading the uh, European session, uh, you will see spikes here above the average at the open and during uh, the uh, European trading hours. But of course, uh, these are not really spikes. They're a typical volume for that time of the day, uh, same as most days. Uh, so what's happening here is that the uh, average look back period includes uh, the overnight session here comparing to much lighter volume so that's why we see uh, the spikes shooting over the average here and if you're trading the uh, regular us session uh, you will often miss spikes because uh, your volume data is compared to the uh, regular open which uh, often sees heavy volume so any uh, uh, bars coming after that uh, might disappear into uh, the uh, comparison with the regular uh, open heavy volume. You can, of course, eliminate uh, the overnight and the pre-sessions altogether and just uh, use a, a regular trading hour session template directly, but um, you will still have open and close seasonality issues. Uh, and uh, you will also lose important price points that are set during the uh, overnight and uh, European sessions. So instead, I'd recommend you use uh, the relative volume indicator because it compares the volume at a specific time of day instead of comparing with the previous X bars. So you can compare the uh, overnight with the overnight volume and the European session with the European session volume and the regular session with the regular session for the uh, last X day. So the default value here for the relative volume indicator is uh, the last 40 days. So you need quite a bit of uh, look back period of 65 days loaded onto your chart to, uh, to display this. And as we see here, and just to drive home the point here, it looks like this is a um, downtrend on heavy volume. But if you look at the comparison here with uh, the relative uh, volume, we have uh, average to below average uh, volume. Um, and it doesn't really pick up until here, which is uh, when the market actually turns around. So um, average volume bars here are between um, 80 to 120% of the normal volume in the reference period, uh, showing us uh, gray bars here. And you can uh, choose the uh, threshold as well as the colors uh, according to your own preferences. Um, the uh, heavy volume bars here are exceeding 120% percent of uh, accumulated relative volume and these uh, red plots here are um, low volume situations below 80 percent and you can also compare to a specific day of the week with this indicator so uh, you will then compare today with uh, the average volume calculated for the same day of the week over the uh, past preceding weeks. So the default value is uh, eight weeks. And it's very useful to know uh, this information if you know that there are regular news releases at specific times. 
So for crude, that would be the uh, weekly petroleum report or natural gas reports, for example. And we have an example of that here, this classical um, wild price action bar. And we see some volume spikes here as well in the regular volume and the relative volume. But if we compare it with a specific weekday here, you see that this is actually normal to below average uh, uh, volume to be expected. So uh, it's very useful information to, uh, to include if you uh, trade instruments that have these regular uh, reports. Another nice feature about this is that uh, holidays uh, are included in the indicator um, dialog box. So you will not have um, uh, those in the uh, calculation, the volume calculation. Um, they are excluded from the uh, volume analysis. And uh, the indicator also adjusts to the uh, daylight savings schedules. To conclude here, the uh, relative uh, volume indicator puts you in a, a better position to identify increasing or decreasing uh, volume and filter out noise signals uh, caused by the uh, different volume scenarios uh, and the changing sessions. So that information uh, can be used to uh, run breakout strategies when uh, you have a relative volume above the average or opposite uh, consider uh, strategies for a ranging market if you see uh, uh, volume below uh, the average. Uh, we also have uh, the relative ranges uh, indicator uh, under this uh, category for use on instruments that may not have reliable volume data, so Forex instruments typically. And uh, this uh, relative ranges um, indicator uh, run on, runs on the same architecture, uh, but uh, measures the range of a fixed uh, bar against the uh, average range over the uh, uh, last preceding end days and can then be used to assess average volatility. In total, we have some uh, 80 plus indicators available for a one-time payment of uh, 125 bucks. It's not 125 bucks per indicator. It's 125 bucks for all of the indicators. And again, it's not a monthly fee. It's a one-time flat fee. So quite a bit of value for your money here. And as I mentioned uh, in the beginning, this month's uh, free download from the library is the relative volume indicator. And you will find a link to that towards the bottom of this page. And uh, if you enjoy that, if you enjoy the uh, video here, if you enjoy the indicator library that we have created, uh, I hope you will consider leaving me a comment on the video below here or give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with a uh, friend on Facebook, uh, on Twitter, Google+, or via email. And as I said, the download is towards uh, the bottom of uh, the blog post here. OK, so with that, I'm going to wrap up the presentation. If you have any questions, uh, please get in touch with me via the contact form over at uh, listedindicators.com. You can also reach out to me at uh, info at listenerindicators.com. And um, yeah, I just want to thank you for checking in. I hope it's uh, been of value to you. And I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care and bye-bye.